Good morning. Um, yes, I'm more than happy to talk to you and your students from Dynaspeak Online. I do know that you're going to talk about aspects for academic study for level three and four students, and that you would like me to talk about plagiarism, more importantly, what it is. I think there are two ways of looking at plagiarism. Plagiarism is about claiming something is your own work when it is someone else's. That is a tidy way of thinking about it, but I think it really appears in two forms. One would be the most common, which would be unintentional plagiarism. So people are not planning to cheat, they don't mean to do it, but they don't understand the rules around plagiarism. The second would be intentional plagiarism. As I said, plagiarism is claiming that something is your work when it isn't. And sometimes that happens because people have read something, people are under pressure, they're trying to meet a deadline, and it's work which is quite difficult for them to understand. And they end up using an idea or words which aren't their own, and then that goes into an essay or an assignment when it actually is not their own. And so all they need to do to sort that out, if they're using somebody else's words, is to actually use quotation marks and say whose work it is. This is called referencing. Reference it clearly if it's someone else's idea. So for instance, if you had read something in a, like in a paper by Smith, they write the idea down using their own words. Then in brackets at the end, they'll put the name of the person. And that person then goes in their reference list. And they are referencing in their paper. And as somebody who marks essays and academic assignments, that is good. Not only is it not cheating, but I'm actually impressed that I can see how they're using the ideas. So it's about making sure you reference everything. And I would say to people who are getting used to it, if you're not sure, be cautious. Err on the side of caution and always talk to your tutor, teacher, or supervisor, or lecturer and get advice. But because of the consequences of getting this wrong are very, very high. So be very, very careful. So reference everything. It's probably a very small, tiny number of people who would choose to cheat and to plagiarize. And it's now getting very difficult as most things go through safer sign that would pick up or would pick up on plagiarism very easily. And so for anybody who was writing an essay, they would need to know that if they're using someone else's work, whether another student's work or whether it's something they have found on the internet, the likelihood of it being picked up is very high. And so routinely universities would run things like applications to do a PhD through Safe Assign or something like that. Also, students' essays would run through it. Most university assignments, most university papers, there are loads of documentations on the enrollment resources about this. It's all online, the importance of being aware of plagiarism or plagiarizing. And in every assignment that is presented, this is made known. So it's actually well documented. It's very well documented. When I mark assignment, it's sort of really, really important to credit to the people who have done the work. But I think it's integral to being well organized on the dangers of unintentional plagiarism. So people who don't know the rules, and there's people who get into a bit of a mess, they're writing a big assignment, they've got books everywhere, papers everywhere, and they'll write some notes down and come back to their notes and forget they may have copied down a quote verbatim. So if you don't make notes at the time and that you've identified that source or you only have a scrap of it and it's really laborious to try and track that down, it is time consuming. You cannot just trust Google. It doesn't always get it right. So be careful, be organized, know the rules, and if in doubt, ask your tutors, ask your lecturers, and they'll be able to help you. Thank you very much.